Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to constrain one object onto another just by using a single click. Let me show you the principle in this simplified scene. I have this cube and I have a bunch of nulls. What I want to do is constrain this cube's position to the average position of all these nulls. What you may assume you need to do is after you select the cube and right click, go to the rigging tags, go to the constraints, and from the constraints, pick a transform, and then add a few of these, and then start dragging the nulls in here or picking them from this. So this one, and then this one, and so forth. But this is not what we're going to do. So let me undo this. First, let's say nothing is selected. I'm selecting the object I want to constrain. And then I'm going to use my shift and drag here to select all the objects I want to constrain the cube to. There is a command if you go to the character menu, constraints, you can use these add something constraint. And for this particular case, the transform constraint. And this automatically is going to do what we did earlier manually. So now, if I move any of these nulls, the cube is going to move to the appropriate average position. So let's go back to the other file I showed in the beginning. Without having to do anything in the object manager, I'm going to select the cube. Then I'm going to shift click to select the joint over here. And I'm going to go to my character constraints and add a transform constraint. And now the cube has been constrained to the correct joint. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.